what we're conducting today is an aircraft incident exercise. Uh, main narrative is that two aircraft during an air show collided. One of them crashed into an area of spectators. This is driving a secondary mass casualty exercise. And so what you're seeing around you is a combination of both military and civilian unit coordinating the initial response as well as the cleanup after the fact. Uh, you're going to see fire personnel from the medical group as well as first responders from outside in Cheyenne. Uh, you're gonna see AMR with their ambulances. You're gonna see life flight helicopters come in and carry out the most severely wounded. So in terms of on-base military response, our first responders, we have our own fire department on base. We also have our personnel from the medical group. They're coming in to provide immediate medical assistance. Obviously, everyone in the military is trained in self-aid buddy care, so any on-site military personnel during the time of the incident would be immediately rendering that aid to anyone who's injured. The helicopter group that is on base, they're coming and supporting with their aircraft and helping medevac individuals that are more severely injured out of the AOR. The end game for this exercise is to validate all the procedures that everyone has in place for those theoretical situations and making sure that, again, if something does happen, it's not the first time they've seen it real world, we are actually able to practice because at the end of the day, hope is not a strategy that we like to employ in the Air Force. We like to employ strategies based on real tangible skill and you can only get that by exercising. If I was to quantify exactly the level of effort that would be involved in the exercise, I would say you probably have close to a quarter, if not a third of the base population participating. Obviously, in the situation where we would have a real world scenario, it would be all hands on deck. Everyone in the wing would be participating, even if it's just to be that extra set of hands that can help.